Hello everybody, Jose Rodriguez here. I'm going to talk about what you need to look out for if you see a Craigslist listing on a printer or something on eBay that does not come from a certified dealer. In other words, you're going to buy it either used or new in box, supposedly. Now, certain eBay sellers will allow you to return the product if you receive it and it is not what they represented it to be. But most of us go to the local Craigslist listings online and find someone locally. Usually what will happen is that you meet them at a certain neutral location in the parking lot of Walmart, for instance, or a 7-Eleven. And they open up the trunk of the car and there is a box. Now, if it's used, I walk away because I need to test that before I buy it. It's like buying a used car from someone. I need to have a mechanic look at it before I shell out a couple thousand dollars or whatever that used car is for, being sold for. So the same thing with a printer. If it's already used, walk away. Walk away. Don't even bother because these sales are as is. Once you shell out the money, that is it. You have no other recourse unless the seller provides you with a guarantee on paper, not by mouth that says that the printer is operating correctly. Now, if it is brand spanking new in box, you might want to actually open it right there to make sure that everything is intact internally. And then once you're satisfied that this is indeed a new item, go ahead and make the transaction. But otherwise, no, stay away from them. Um, it's very dangerous to buy in a neutral location where you are not allowed, basically, or you cannot really Plug it in and test it if it's used, okay? So forget about used ones unless you actually know the person or it's a local photographer selling it for whatever the reason. Uh, check to see how many prints have run through it. You can do that on most printers such as this. It will allow you to check how many sheets of whatever media, how many jobs have been run through it. It will tell you that. And you can determine, you know, at what point is this printer heavily used or very lightly used. So many things to consider. You got to remember that a while ago, people that were buying a Canon DSLR were given a free Pro 100 along with that sale. And these people didn't want anything to do with printing. So they were selling their Pro 100s in box brand new for about $100 on Craigslist. I got three of them. That's how I got my first one that is now still working seven years this August and it's still working fine. I got two others in box that I already checked and they are indeed brand spanking new. We will see. I hope I don't need to use them too soon, but at this point, seven years almost is quite a bit of time. So again, yes, you will save a ton of money. I got this off of a dealer, basically a, how should I say it? A warehouse company that had a bunch of these I paid $6.99 for this printer, believe it or not, plus shipping, $69 for shipping. P800 I got off of a lady whose husband passed away before he could even set it up. It was still brand new in box. $2.99 plus shipping. Again, a heck of a bargain. And these are extremely rare. But at the time where I was considering adding these two printers to my army here, I scoured eBay up and down until I found these sales. And this one was actually as a result of a viewer that found that particular dealer and turned me on to it. But anyway, stay away from a used printer. Okay. Too many problems, too many unknowns. Really, it's just too much of a headache unless you're a printer mechanic and you just want a chassis to experiment on. Always and only buy new inbox from anyone who's just trying to get rid of them. Many people buy a Pro 100 only to realize, oh man, I should have bought a Pro 10 because I really should be using pigment inks for whatever the reason. And they are trying to unload that Pro 100. They're gonna sell it to you for less than they paid for. Otherwise, why bother, right? But anyway, that would be the only reason for me to buy a printer from someone who is not an authorized dealer, okay? Someone on Craigslist, for instance. Lots of good buys on Craigslist as long as they are new, certified new, and you can actually look at the box and determine that it is indeed totally sealed and untampered with. All right, just be careful. Buyer beware. If you buy something from someone like that, it's always as is. You have no other recourse. 
if it doesn't turn out to be something you expected. All right. Thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. As always, happy printing, everybody. Bye-bye. There'll be more videos to come.